Hey, fantastic internet and you amazing creatures of the beyond. We are back in Gothic. And I have cleared the camp. The magicians, uh, sorry, the shamans weren't so difficult. If you attract them near the tent over there, they will eventually melee you, so you can take care of them. But inside here, I was almost tricked. I thought there was a fire, but in actuality, it's one of those fire demons. So we're gonna sneak. Sneak, you fire devil. Hey, hey, hey! No, 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 no. You bastard, why did you wake up? Oh, oh yo, yo, yo. Nothing there. <laughs> So we have life energy, strength, yes we want that, let's nom nom it. Where is it? Strength. And Life energy. Life. En oh, there it is. Bam. Now we are more powerful. I hate you. <laughs> hey. You're annoying. Whatever, I'll have to redo this, but... Uh, I'm just doing this for the sake of not wasting too many... Come on. Jeez, that was a complicated lock. Yeah, I don't want to waste uh, too many of those lock picks. So I'm trying to save them again. Let's numb this really fast. Life energy and strength. Superbo. Can we equip anything better now? Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, that is uh, with dexterity. I'm not sure we can go to 160, can we? Technically, I could with the potions, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know. We shall find out. Oh, eh, eh, eh. Calmate. I took them both down? Nothing to be That's had there. Mental. Nothing there. Ah, the lighting is kind of messed up. Another one. Okay, there doesn't seem to be anything particularly valuable. Are you kidding me? Yeah, sleep, sleep tight. Nothing to plunder. Don't let me wake you up. Hey. Nah. Ooh, we're so good. Perfecto. Nothing to be had there. Perfecto. I can't see. You, you are gonna go down. Nothing there. Well, if there's nothing, there's nothing. What can we do? Yellowstone tablet. Yes, we did want this. 
Oh, I'm curious if this lectern is gonna do anything. Yes! So, Radems was imprisoned forever in the Temple of Adanos, but the power of the sword was not broken. Its influence had become too great. The killings in the streets would not stop. The wrath of Adanos ended everything. The sea raised itself over Jakandar and uh, Jarkandar, sorry, and flooded the whole city. Only the temples and structures in higher places were left almost untouched. The few who survived this cat catastrophe no longer had the strength to rebuild the city, and thus the fate of Jakandar uh, was sealed. Interesting, interesting. So something happened. Somebody was killing people and Adanos was like, nope, let's flood everybody, including the innocent. Archery? Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, nice scroll. Some po potions, potions, and another scroll. Let's uh, nom that tablet. So, did we get anything? Let's see the potions, where are they? Nope. Nada de nada. Okay, this one. Because only the guardians of the dead could call the ancestors. Their absence uh, hurts deeply. Without the consul, council of the ancestors, we are at the mercy of our people. The healers were sent to seal the portal and destroy the key. Only Adanos knows what happened to them or if they even achieved their goal. The warrior caste has been destroyed by the wrath of Adanos. The heart of the old warrior prince is broken. Only the remaining priests raise hopes and preach constantly of the rebirth of our once magnificent city. However, we scholars know the bitter truth. Jakandar has fallen and will fade in the river of time. Interesting. Let's see what's on the other side. Sorry about the lighting, but such is the dungeon. Nobody here? I don't know, they should have put lights like this everywhere instead of this weird thing is. Yes, yes, I hear you. I do this and this. Damn, we hit like Nothing a monster. Nothing to be had there. Nothing to plunder. Okay, that's really bad. Let's hope we can do him fast. Whoa. Nothing to plunder. Well, if there's nothing, there's nothing. What can I do? So we get crossbow. We're gonna keep this one. At least for now. We still need to level up a bit. Healing, let's say. Ooh, more potions. I wonder what they are. But before anything, let's read this. Quarhadron. Quarhadron's age made it impossible for him to lead our army, and so the priests insisted on their right of command over him. Their ins uh, they instructed him to res resign his office and uh, pass on the sword. The Council of Five was to determine his successor. However, the warrior caste denied the council a choice. 
the warriors would no longer submit to the Council of Five and selected his son Rathemes as their new leader. Out of pride and uh, confidence in his own flesh and blood, Quahedron decided to give in to them. He delivered the sword to his son in the hope that he would wield it with the same strong hand that he had himself. So this sword has been given to him. Interesting. Okay, that doesn't look too safe. Maybe I should... Um, I don't know. Drink some potions. Oh! Essence. Thank you for the mana. Elixir, I mean, sorry. Come on, come on. Hop, hop, hop. What's this, though? Hey, we didn't take this one? Bam, extra strength. We have 132 strength at the moment. Which is not very far from 160. Which is super awesome. Crazy how much we leveled up. Yes, yes. You wanna die? Take this and this. Uh, I think I cleared them all. Nothing there. We're gonna read this in a moment. A ring. I have so many rings. Uh, arrow, magic, fire, fire, weapon, 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 mana, hit point, dexterity. We have free dexterity. Interesting. Weapon protection. This one is... Whatever. Hit point... Yeah... Nothing quite interesting to be honest. This one is a very good one, Franco's amulet. But only if you want to split between strength and dexterity. So we have three stone old stone tablets, a casket. Can I open that casket? I wonder. Uh huh. Nope. Nope and nope. Ah, in this whole squadron, the high priests uh, Cardimon and I myself discussed a way to defeat. Radems and the sword. Quahedron and Cardimon were of the opinion that Rademus could be defeated in battle with united strength, but I knew the power of the sword too well to believe that possible. So I made use of my right to veto the decision of the others. I decided instead to overcome Quahedron obeyed the decision of the council, he proceeded to the temple of Adanos and sent for his son. His son's hatred had taken such from that uh, Rademus stormed the temple in a wild frenzy to execute his father. He only recognized our plans when it was too late for him. Quahedron closed the holy chamber of the temple behind him and Rademus was trapped in the temple for all time. Interesting. He was trapped with the sword, it seems. Radames was weak. The will of the sword overcame him and made him its tool. Not even the healers could uh, alleviate the suffering and the atrocities he brought upon our people in his blindness. The sword quickly recognized that the people were too weak to thwart its plans. So the sword is kind of thinking, interesting. Only the power of our ancestors could still withstand it. And so it had Redimis ban banished or executed all of the guardians of the dead, thus 
shattering all hope of release from the evil. Thus, not a single guardian of the dead was left when the redeeming remaining four uh, disempowered leaders of our people made the bitter decision to surrender Jakandar. Was war raged in the streets as the healer set out to seal the only entrance to our valley forever. Really, really cool. I think I've checked everything here. Hopefully I've taken everything up. Um, don't remember how exactly we do that thing with the spirit. I totally forgot. But anyway, we shall figure it out eventually. So, now I think it's a good time to go into the camp and, I mean, the fifth, the, the bandits camp and start that beautiful mission. So we've cleared the entire map, which is really nice. Still see that, uh, still see that I missed a few flower powers here and there, but what can you do? You have to traverse these places a few times. I'm a bit uh, afraid that I have overpowered myself. But still, after chapter 3 it should still be uh, quite challenging. We shall see. Though we still have quite a bit left to do here, so... But maybe it's good that we are a bit uh, overpowered because... Raven is gonna be a pain to take down. Well, not impossible, but... You can take the easy way, the fast way, however you wish. Okay, so we want to go... Yeah, we're missing one. We're gonna solve that eventually, no issues there. Uh, ah, wait, so the tablet. And this guy. Hey, you! Uh, about the mansions? Yes. The orcs seem to be interested in the library of the scholars. Do you think they could read the ancient language? I don't think so, but who knows? Perhaps you should make sure that they go away, nevertheless. Yeah, I've taken care of them. The orcs will soon lose interest in this area. What makes you say that? Their leader is dead. Let's just hope you are right. We really don't need disturbances of that sort right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, what mission? Uh, about the mansion? Ah, sorry. Yes. Tell me at the house of the... the, the yeah, 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 we solved this. Uh, Teach me the art. And what do you want to brew? Dexterity and sense. Well, nothing actually. We'll probably learn some dexterity later on, but that's the last thing. Hey, you. Hey, you. About the relics. What about this? That looks good. Where'd you find that? This piece was lying in a large building in a deep ravine. That was the library of the ancient people. Apparently a tablet of the scholars. Many of the scripts we have found can be traced to the leader of the cast of scholars. Curiously enough, he did not leave his own name behind anywhere. Very good. The image of this city is becoming clearer, but we still don't know enough. In all, there must be five of this sort of stone tablet hidden around here. Find them and bring them to me. Here is some gold as a reward. I'll see whether good, but hurry. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Protect. Yeah, yeah. I, I did uh, notice that the one that wrote, left the tablets didn't leave his name anywhere. Interesting. That's a cool mystery to solve. But probably one of the priests. 
he was definitely a leader or some something like that. Oh, oh. Uh, we need to change our um, appearance. Be a bandit. Damn, this work sword is epic. I love it. <laughs> Funny enough, you start with this sword in uh, Gothic 3. Which is kind of silly. But Gothic 3 is an entirely different beast. It's actually cool that past games were trying to surpass each other and they didn't uh, try to copy paste the same formula and try to improve on their mechanics and trying new ways to captivate the player. That was interesting, like Gothic 1 and Gothic 2 are feel basically two different games even though they have the lore and everything else in common. Especially the bridges. I don't know. The bridges are worse <laughs> in Gothic, too. So, we need to talk to somebody. I think I'm gonna take a quick nap. So, let's make a save here a backup save. And let's get some rest. Really, really cool. So we have to talk to that guy over there. Well, before, no, to that guy. Hey, if you're looking for a decent trader here in the camp, then you just found him. My hut is right behind Esteban, so if you need anything, come on by. Thank you, Fisk. I'm sure to come by. Now, whatever you do, don't talk to the blacksmith. Or, I'm not sure this guy, maybe you can talk to Paul, but... Um, if you want to do this quest without any issues, don't talk. Because... It might uh, get the, the quest stuck in some places. Oh, come on. Gold nugget, thank you. Uh, meadow. I think we can climb up here. Ah! Yes, we can. And if I remember correctly, snapper weed. I think there was something here. Or maybe not. I don't remember every freaking thing in the game. Okay, a scroll. Um, oh, come on, jump. You're annoying. I was curious if there was anything on top of this part of the building, but I suppose not. Thank you for the five gold. Your contribution shall be appreciated greatly. Ah, oh, maybe we can climb this way. Yeah. Apparently not. 
be like this. Aha! I knew it. I knew it. 50 gold. Worth it. Worth it. Not sure if you can technically climb. No, you can't. Super duper awesome. How's our dexterity? We are at 77. Ah, actually, 73. Bandidos. Ah. Uh, talking to him, to Thoros is. Well. It won't get you very far, but it's cool. We'll talk to him. I don't think you can sneak in, but whatever. Was there anything in particular here? I know there was a reason why I jumped. I sneaked through because I couldn't get around or something. Maybe this chest? Ah, oh, come on. I hate you. Oh my god. <sighs> Are you kidding me? Finally. Well, okay. Maybe it was somewhat worth it. Have an alchemy bench. Let's see if we can learn something from this book stand. Potion of permanent change and ingredients. Elixir of dexterity. Speed. Elixir of strength. I think we learned all of this. Well, I suppose there's nothing. Let's actually buy something from Fisk. Show me your. Oh look, he has stingers. <gasps> Apelinos. Thank you. I'm gonna buy this as well. And let's take this as well. And why not? We have cash, we are rich. Picks. Wouldn't mind if I do. Gonna buy this. Turnips. You might need turnips if you're doing. Uh, some potions or something. Anyway, I think we have enough. Ring of or skin. We have so many war protecting things. Sword. Ah, why not? Good, 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 good. I think this is good enough. Not sure if I can get inside here now. Can't rely on that. You already know what I can. Or apparently we can. Finally we don't have to freaking open everything. Down. 
Basically, I think you can go here and start from level... I'll never get this open without the right key. Oh. From uh, chapter 2 immediately, when you start chapter 2. Hello, potion. Esteban, just the bastard we want to talk to. Lots of bodyguards and bandits here, so be careful. So you're the fellow who fought his way into camp. <clears throat> yes. That got around fast. Franco was a tough nut. No one messed with him. No one. Except you. Just to make it clear. If you try the same shit with me, <laughs> I'll kill you. Fine, fine, fine. I need better armor. Why? You already have some. <laughs> That's good enough for you now. You already know what I think. I want to get into the mine. Of course you do. Then you're in the right place with me. Because everyone who digs in the mine gets to keep a hefty share of the gold. And I hand out the red stones you need so that Thoris will let you in. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what I said. Give me one of those red stones. Okay, but they aren't free. Normally, I uh, demand a share of the gold the boys get for digging. <laughs> How much do you know about mining gold? Huh? You probably learned a few tricks, right? If I give you a redstone, it won't be because you're such a great digger. No. I have another job for you. What sort of job? One of the bandits planned to kill me. But instead, my guards killed him. He was hot for your job, huh? Ah, he was an idiot. <laughs> a thug without a brain. He never would have got the idea to attack me on his own. Nah. He was only fulfilling a contract. Someone else sent him. So, I'm supposed to find out who was behind it. Whoever sent me this assassin will pay for it. Find him. And I'll let you into the mine. Senyan sent me to you about this business. Senyan? He also works for me. I told him he should keep his eyes open. I couldn't care less. How should I go about it? Everyone here in the camp knows about it. So you're playing with all your cards on the table, huh? Try to find out who's on my side and who isn't. And don't let the boys make a fool of you. Talk to Snaff. That fat cook picks up a lot. Interesting. You can fight him directly and get the stone, but nah, let's do this quest. It's far more interesting. Unfortunately, it's quite linear. You don't have other options. But what can we do? So let's start with Snaf. Actually, let's not start with Snaf. Let's start with this bastard. I've talked to Esteban. And did he tell you about the attack? He ordered me to find out who sent the assassin. Do you know anything about that? No more than you do. I'm also on the hunt for the guy behind it. And now we come to the interesting part. Mm. Let's hear it. I want you to do your job well. I want you to find the traitor. And when you have found him, I want you to kill him for me. Then I will pocket the reward. I have your wanted poster. Don't forget that. Do your job and do it well. You can figure out what will happen otherwise. I love the blackmail in this game. Forget it. Then what do I still need you for, you bum? Oh. Hey, people! Look who we have here! Nobody cares. What? What? I have an orc killer. Tell me, why? Did Senyan yell, look who we have here? Unpaid debts. Do oh. you have a problem with that? <laughs> no, man. I don't have a problem with it. Quite the opposite. The bastard worked for Esteban. What do you know about the attack? Hey, man. I didn't have anything to do with it. What do you have against Esteban? All that swine thinks about is money. Every few days, one of us gets eaten by a crawler. But Esteban just won't send any fighters into the mine. And why? Those guys belong to Raven's bodyguards, and Esteban is scared shitless to tell them. <laughs> He'd rather let us get killed. 
Hmm. What do you know about nothing at all? What do you know about Hey man, I didn't have anything to What do you nothing at all? Really? You're not telling me what anything? Do you hey man! Fine, fine, fine. Hmm. Delicious. So, Mr. Snuffy guy. What do you know about the attack? The thing with Esteban? You know how it is. The barkeeper hears everything, but never takes sides. If you were in my place, what would you do? I would think about what I know about the guy behind it. First, it was probably one of the bandits. That means he's here in the camp. Second, that he's here in the camp means that he is watching you. Third, as long as he thinks that you're on Esteban's side, he'll never reveal himself to you. So, the interesting question is, what are your chances of finding your man? Hmm. What do people here think of Esteban? You'll have to be a bit more precise. What does Huno think of Esteban? Ah, Huno. I know almost nothing about him. That information is, of course, free. Hmm. <laughs> what about Finn? A good digger. He has a nose for gold. Esteban favors him because of it. I think he's in pretty good standing with him. What does Lenar think about Esteban? As far as I can tell, Lenar doesn't think at all. Emilio, what does he think about Esteban? I don't think he'll bring any flowers to Esteban's grave, <laughs> if you know what I mean. What about Paul? I don't think he particularly likes Esteban. Since he's been working for Huno, he'll never get into the mine. What about Fisk? Fisk is Fisk. He pays his share to Esteban and distributes the goods he mostly gets from the pirates. I don't think he really cares about Esteban. Mm hmm. What do you think of Esteban? Whoever talks about him is soon dead. Oh. What are my chances of finding my man? Hmm. You bumped off one of Esteban's people. The man you're looking for will believe you're on his side. But he won't just reveal himself to you. You'll have to find out more. Thanks. Mm. Hey, I didn't tell you anything you didn't already know. Got it? Yep. Yep. I got it. What do you know about the attempt on Esteban's life? You're looking for the guy who's behind it, huh? But I don't know anything about it. How could I? I was still in the swamp then. Mm -hmm. I'll come back later. Yeah, that's true. What do you know about the attempt on Esteban's life? Nothing at all. Nah. Perfect answer. What do you know about the attempt on Esteban's life? Attack? Sorry, I was absent for some time. I don't know anything about it. Hmm. Hmm. Not a lot of leads. Hey. What do you Nothing at all. Okay, you're repeating the same thing. In Lenar. Let's ask this guy. Hey, you. No, nothing. About the attack on Esteban. Uh, yeah? Do you have any idea who's behind this? Why do you want to know? Nah. 
I want to talk to the guy. So. And what do you want from him? I think this is the most critical thing in the story. You have to choose something good here. You can still finish the quest, but it's, it, this decides if the quest is gonna be easy or hard. So... I think I want to go with this one. I want to bump off Esteban, and I'm looking for an ally. <laughs> I won't have anything to do with that. But it's gonna lead us somewhere later on. About the attack on Esteban. Yeah. Do you have any idea who was behind it? Sure. Let me tell you. I bet that Emilio is behind that. He always ran to the mine like a crazy man. He dug as much as he could. But since the attack, he's been sitting on his bench, not budget an inch. It's obvious. To get into the mine, he has to have a red stone from Esteban. I bet he doesn't dare look him in the eye. Hmm. What would Emilio get out of Esteban's death? What do I know? Maybe he has a pal in the mine who would take over Esteban's place then. Yeah, that would make sense. Interesting. Interesting. Let's go to Emilio. Hey. Lenar told me a bit about you. Lenar? That guy's an idiot. <laughs> he must have noticed. He said you haven't been in the mine since the attack happened. I don't know anything. Help me find out who was behind the attack. No, I don't want anything to do with it. If an idiot like Lenar notices that you're behaving oddly, it won't take long before Esteban finds out too. I... Shit. Huh. I'll tell you one name. Nothing more. Fine. I'm listening. Huno. Go to Huno. He must know something about this business. Okie dokie. Huno is the blacksmith. Blacksmith. <clears throat> Sorry. I couldn't care less. Let's see if Paul has something to do. Totally obvious. Oh, okay. I can steal from him. Sooner or later. Do you deal in smithy equipment? Huno has steel. I only have a few lumps of ore, but I won't give that up. It's the only thing I have of value. Hmm. You don't have to tell me that. Do you work for Huno? I wanted to make up a bit of gold and took up with Huno. But since then, Esteban hasn't given me anything at all. He said he can't use me anymore. Hmm. What else can I do but continue to slave away for Huno? Everything else all right with you? I just want to do my job, man. Do your job, man. You should have known better. What do you know about the attempt on Esteban's life? Nothing, man. I didn't have anything to do with it. What do you want from me? I think we shouldn't use this. We don't want to scare our leads. Hey. Actually, I'm not even sure I can steal. Um, difficult pockets without 80. Let's. Um, strength, strength bonus. Dexterity. Hey! Oh, come on, you, you bastard. Okay, let's uh, equip all of the rings and blah, 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 blah. Strength, where is... Ah, oh, dexterity. And we need the other one. Hey, you! Perfect. 
show me what so we might want these lumps of gold I'll take this raw steel these blades ring of strength thank you we definitely needed this white rum it looks like you're a master of your craft I've heard that before did you bring the steel steel no I think you're confusing me with mm, somehow you seem familiar ah. do we know each other from somewhere Sure, from the old camp. The old camp, right. You're that curious guy. I thought you was dead. <laughs> yes, everybody thinks that. Who else survived? A few. Some fled with Raven like I did. For a lot of others, the old camp became a grave. Tell me about your escape. Chaos broke out the day the barrier fell. Some hid, others fled. And there was a plundering everywhere. What did you do? I was about to leave the camp when it turned bright very suddenly, and a scorching pain ate through my skin. I'd been struck by damn lightning. It feels like I can still hear it. Later, someone told me that Thoris found me and took me with him. Hmm. I need better armor. So, you can have this. It's Esteban's fault. It's so expensive. That damn dog pockets a share of every piece of armor I sell. Mm. I think we should buy it. Okay, I'll take the armor. Sure thing. Because we can't use any other armor. What is it? There we go. Ah, it's decent. It's decent. Hey. I need so you can have that damn. I already have the armor. I don't know why this didn't did this didn't disappear. About the attack on Esteban. What do you want from me? I'm looking for the person behind the attack. And why are you coming to me about that? I thought you might know something about that business. I don't know anything. I've heard a few things about you. So? Emilio spat out your name. You definitely know something about the attack. You've been having a chat with old Emilio, eh? Maybe I should also have a word with him. I'm sure that afterwards, he'll say the exact opposite. Now listen, you move your ass out of here before I forget myself. Ah, damn it. Um, hey, you. Let's ask Paul. Maybe hey, Paul knows you. something. I used to say that myself. Kuno is suspected of having something to do with the attack. I don't know anything about it. But you work for Huno, so you do know something. I know nothing. Honest, I have to go now. Hmm. Hmm. Where are you going? Do you know what Esteban will do to you when he finds out you're covering for Huno? Leave me alone. I don't have anything to do with that business. Wait a minute. Can't rely on that. Tell me what you know now, or I'll slam you into the wall, Paul. <laughs> you can't rough me up just because you work for the boss. I can. Cut the crap. Paul. All I know is that Huno has a bone to pick with Esteban. He's constantly going on at me about that Esteban, that he screwed up business for him and so on. I only listened and never said anything. Exactly. You see, that wasn't so bad. Mm -hmm. I think now we can talk to Homo. Hey, you. Why haven't I heard about this before? About the. What do you want? I'm looking for the. And what? I thought you. I over again. 
I've heard so Paul said so did he what else Emilio spat out your name you definitely know something about the it you've been having it and he isn't the only that was no big deal. what's that supposed to mean huh he was falling down drunk let's go with this one I want to join forces with the assassin against Esteban really then prove it I've been waiting for too long for a delivery of steel from the pirates. I suspect that Esteban captured it in order to sell it to me later at a higher price. Of course, he won't do that himself. A couple of bandits in the swamp are on his payroll. How do you know that? Drunken bandits talk too much. Does this talkative bandit have a name? His name is none of your business, <laughs> but the guy you're looking for is called Juan. Anyway. I haven't seen him in the camp for a long time. You'll have to look for him in the swamp. Found him. He's dead. Okay, I'll do it for good. We'll see if you can be trusted. I think you can murder uh, Huno, but it's not actually Huno. And uh, then you can kind of talk to that guy and opens another avenue, but hey. whatever. I have the steel. And? Was Juan there too? He was. I knew it. That rat Esteban was behind it. Now, what about our agreement? The man you want to talk to is waiting for you in the bar. Talk to the barkeeper. Fine, fine. Actually, hey, wait. What are you wait? Ah, I want you to trade. <laughs> Whatever. So now... We go and talk to Snuff. Who knows sent me? Looks like you found your man. Go on up to the next floor. Someone's waiting for you. Hmm. Who could it be? Who could it be, I wonder? You'll never guess. It's Fisk! Damn, he has a big uh, club. So you were behind the attack. Yes. Esteban is in the way of my business. He won't let any of the bandits who work for me into the mine. He's making sure that everyone works for him. And only for him. That way, he can pocket a percentage of every deal and control the whole camp. Mm-hmm. Do you want to take his place? Oh, I'm a traitor. I just want to go about my business in peace. What are you planning? We'll get Esteban out of the way. That means you will kill him and take his place. As long as his bodyguards are with him, I don't have a chance. Then we'll have to get them to leave by telling the truth. What truth? You have done your job. You know that I was behind the attack. Tell Esteban, and he'll send his boys to kill me. I'll expect them here. When they're gone, you can deal with the bastard, and I'll take care of the guards. What plan? So let's do it. But before we do anything, let's equip uh, our rings and stuff. So strength. Strength, strength, and strength. How much strength do we have? 137. Yum, yum, yum. Now let's go see what's gonna happen here. About the listen, I have other things I have to take. I thought you might be interested in knowing who was behind the attack. Who is it? Tell me his name so my guards can wring his neck. The traitor Fisk is behind it. At the moment, he's sitting in the bar, unsuspecting and drinking. Ha! Well done, kid. My guards will take care of him. You heard him, boys. Go get Fisk. 
he was falling down drunk. And what happens next? What happens next? No idea. I'll tell you what happens. Fisk will die a painful death, and out. everyone in the camp will find out about it. That'll be a warning to all of them. Do I get a red stone now? Yeah, you did your job well. Someone like you has no business in the mine. Hmm. I can use you much better out here. You'll stay in the camp and continue working for me. You bastard. I used to say that myself. Are you trying to play me for a fool? There was never a question of me working for you. It isn't everyone who gets an offer like this, but if you don't want it, you're free to leave the camp. How about if you keep your word and give me a red stone? Hey, one more word. My guards will have to hurt you too. Which guards? What guards? <laughs> oh, I see. You're trying to pull a fast one. Just you wait. Oh, shoot. Um. What you waiting for? That a boy. Come on. You bastard. So, sword, wooden berry. Five redstones. This will come in handy. We actually need two of them, and they are going to be used for something different. Uh, okay. Was there a key? Hmm. I wonder who has the key. By the way, the guards should be over here. I think they die script by script. They don't actually fight. But still. Nice to see their bodies are in place, you know, very immersive. Hey, you! Esteban is finished. I've waited for this for a long time. I think you've got things to do now, and uh, I need to go back to my business. Mm. So, if you need anything else, you know where to find me. I know where to find you. Give me... I have dexterity like crazy. Can only wear two, so we don't need extra. How's business? Good. Esteban's death is a reason for some here to celebrate. Oh. Very, very cool. I'll come back later. Okie dokie. Hey. Nothing to say. Nothing to say. I don't care about this at the moment. You have absolutely nothing else. Whoa. Ah, it's a bandit. Who the hell had the key? Unless I picked the key somehow. I'll never get this open without the This guy the right has key. the key. Let's test it. Um, yum. Let's not test it. Or maybe. Come on. I'm stuck. Ah, oh, damn it. I wanted to see if he has anything on him, but anyway. Never mind. We shall see later. I want to see if anybody has some objections to Esteban's death. You, Paul? Everything. I just want to do my. Fine, fine. Hey, you! Oh, come on! Not tell Show me. me. I've got no time for things like that. Blade. 
heal package. Well, whatever. Let's just take some quick rest and let's end the conversation. The conversation, the episode here. Next time we're gonna talk to Thoros and probably get into the upper mine, upper part of the. Yeah, we definitely need to go into the upper part of the camp. And we'll have a teleporter there. We can see it on the map. It's that tiny blue dot. And we can go back and give one of the tablets to use fallen down to the to the mages. And I think that will conclude that mission. Do you really think? But we still have to visit this mansion, I suppose. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. You guys are super awesome. Catch you in the next episode, and bye, 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 bye.